Welcome, in front of me is a Motorola Moto G62 and today I'll show you how we can record a screen on this phone. So to get started, let's pull down our notifications straight from the top, just a single swipe down, extend it and on one of the pages you will find a toggle with name screen recorder, there we go. So it looks like it's on a third page, once you see it you can hold it. This will take you to the settings with a couple options associated with the quality of your uh, screen recording. It also includes options for front-facing camera. If you want to add that, you can. Uh, video resolution, I do recommend keeping it at 1080p. This will make it just crisp and nice looking. And we have also recording time limit, so you can set up a timer for it. And it will automatically stop recording after it's been reached. Or you can obviously do it yourself. You can prematurely end the recording. Then we have a file size limit. Also allows you to set up a size limit to your uh, recording. So uh, this will vary depending on what you're recording and also at what qualities. So as an example, I could set it up to be at one gigabyte, which is the highest size here. And let's just say at one gig, I will get like 10 minutes of screen recording at 1080p, but I will get about like, what is it, a quarter of it uh, if I, or technically four times more. So let's just say 40 minutes with 720p. So uh, obviously 720p is much lower resolution, so it might look pixelated on a bigger display, but you do have a file that would take less space. Anyway, uh, you also have last thing, which is show touch inputs on the uh, on the screen, which will record a semi-transparent grayed out on the screen. I'll toggle it on just so you can see how that looks like. And now we can just get back to recording. So once you enter the settings, you can start quickly reco recording by selecting the button, just pressing it, and then select start. Gets a countdown from three, and there we go. Okay, so as you can see, we have a bunch of options right here. I'm going to move the display a little bit so you can see that dot that follows my finger. It will also be visible on the recording, obviously. Now in here we have the uh, selfie camera. I can toggle it on. So there we go. We have microphone. We have also pencils. You can draw on the screen. And you can pause and stop the recording, which I'll just stop it right away. Now, once you stop your recording, it gets saved to your photos application. So I'm going to quickly f try to find it. Oh, there we go. Now, from here, you want to navigate to library and uh, screen recorder and select your screen recording. And as you can see, it's already playing. You can see the dot be visible right here so there we go we can kind of see how it looks like it might be fairly distracting on like gameplays so i wouldn't recommend using that but for in instruction videos like i'm doing it should be just fine so anyway this is the screen recording and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching